So today it's all about power in the X banks. We had also the opportunity to interview on the IAA Mobility Munich 2025, Jackie Gu. Jackie is the general manager of the powertrain center of the x -Bank Motors. So when the marketing team and the PR team uh, told me that I was going to interview uh, Jackie uh, of the powertrain center, I started thinking, what the hell is powertrain? Um, but I, I did a quick search and I realized that it's really important. So let me first show you what powertrain is so that we are all starting this interview in the same level of knowledge. So here it is. Powertrain. EV powertrain is the system in an electric car that converts electrical energy into mechanical motion to propel the vehicle. So it basically is the battery pack, the traction inverter to convert this into AC, electric motor, uh, transmission, etc, etc, etc. So basically it's all the systems that connect it provide energy to the car. So as you can imagine, this is one of the most important stuff because this is efficiency, consumption, mileage, everything all together. So these guys are the brain behind the cars that make them be efficient or not. So let's just go without any further delay to check the interview with Jackie to see what he had to tell us. I can be the first one. Hey, um, yeah, okay. I drive G9. Okay. Oh, you drive G9? Okay, yes. okay. And uh, I want to ask, um, the, the consumption of the car is pretty low, so it's very effective. Yeah. Um, to a point where I ask myself, how is it even possible? Because the car is pretty big, it's pretty mm -hmm. heavy. Yeah. Yet I'm getting consumption in the city of levels of Model 3. So the question is, how did you guys do it? What are the what are the efficiency upgrades you're doing via the software or maybe the hardware? What's the magic, uh, if you can say anything about Okay, that? I think the... Uh, yeah, so uh, energy consumption is our you know, higher priority for technology, you know, so to reduce, right? And uh, for G9, uh, we launched this uh, vehicle 2022, right? Yeah. And also, this vehicle is the first uh, vehicle we launched based on you know the so-called 800 volt system architecture. I think the 800 volt system is very you know the good solution to benefit you know the the fuel, uh, not fuel economic electric uh, economy, right? <laughs> so and also uh, this you know the 800 volt help to uh, improved proficiency of the efficiency of the whole system, right? Uh, 800 volt is one of you know the uh, pretty much uh, key import uh, key uh, technology. 800 volt. Mm -hmm. The other one is that we, we we leverage you know the silicon carbide. Silicon carbide is a kind of you know the power semiconductor technology, right? And uh, this very uh, key uh, si power, semi uh, silicon carbide is kind of the the third generation power semiconductor can improve the efficiency by reducing the inverter power loss. Inverter is a type of you know, the, uh, the electric component to drive the machine, right? And also, normally, uh, once we uh, utilize this, uh, this uh, silicon carbide power module, the whole system efficiency can be improved from normal uh, efficiency like you know, so 88% to 94, 92%. Okay. If we can uh, achieve almost three or four percent improvement, right, we can deliver six or eight yeah. percent mileage longer performance. This is the reason why, you know, so for example, in another world, right, the longer mileage, you need just a lower energy. Mm -hmm. This is the, the main reason for the GNI can deliver the hospital mile higher okay. longer. Right? Yes. It's, yes. Uh, Jackie, so I'm about to go film the new P7. I've spent a lot of new time. New P7? Yeah, okay. this one down okay. here. So okay. I've just driven the P7 Plus in China okay. and was really impressed with the, the entire car. The value seemed amazing. ADAS for being camera only was really good as well. I've driven the old P7 as well. What technically is new in the new P7 that you would like to showcase? What is kind of the innovations in that car? Oh, yeah, I think the normally uh, uh, P7 Plus and the P7, uh, they, uh, they are the same platform design. But I think that these two type of the vehicle, you know, so the uh, targeting uh, marketing and uh, targeting you know, so the customer are different, right? Because the new P7 is kind of the sport car, right? A P7 Plus is more like, you know, the so family usage, you know, so the, the sedan, right? But the platform are same, including the 
the, the battery cell, you know, the, the E drive unit, and uh, the chassis stuff. And, uh, so even the chassis settings are the same? Between? No, settings are different. Okay. Settings are different. But the architecture are the same. Architecture yeah. same. And also, I think the, the, the new P7, uh, the iteration and the innovation, I think the primary uh, uh, upgrade is for the autonomous drive. Mm -hmm. I mentioned that the, uh, you know, so the, the P7, new, P, new P7, we, we, we uh, install you know, the, the, our in-house you know, so, uh, GPU you know, so chip, right? So we call it tooling, yep. tooling, right? So it's our you know, so in-house you know, so the, 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 the chip, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And this is a great you know, so upgrade, right? Uh, to improve the you know, autonomous drive the hardware capability, right? And also, uh, our software team is doing some the new, you know, so, uh, uh, you know, the fundamental model, you know, so development, right? Will be deployed uh, to the P7, and this is a major difference. For the powertrain, uh, I think no big difference, no big difference, because they are the same platform, and also the CFR 2.0 architecture, you know, so, uh, same powertrain. Uh, including the, as I mentioned the uh, driving unit, right, and also uh, the the battery pack, and also the both are supporting you know, the five C fast charging, you know, the stations, and also for the uh, um, control stuff, uh, some tuning to achieve the acceleration, you know, the so performance, right, mm -hmm. because they have the four wheel drive, and the P seven plus not just have you know the so uh, to the drive, right? This is a big difference. Yeah, yeah. my last question, sorry, yeah, yeah. is okay. just uh, following up on the P7 comments. Um, we've seen other automakers that are interested in autonomy, such as Tesla, in my opinion, sort of stall in their powertrain development, charging performance, performance in terms of power output. You guys are still doing pretty fast charging, you know, 400 plus kilowatts, you're getting 10 to 80 in 11 minutes. What's next, or have you reached a level that's okay? Because with autonomous cars, maybe massive charging speed that we love so much, ripping down the autobahn and fast charging is less important, but I think it's still a selling point. So how much engineering resources are you putting towards performance? Oh, I think the, for autonomous drive and also our partner, we are, we, are, we are a different group, right? And also uh, how much you know, the, you know, the autonomous drive requirement, this is a company level definition, right? That is no, 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 no doubt, we will we will talk for the maybe the higher level automatic drive, maybe L two to L three to L four, right? This is a very clear the roadmap. But for you know the charging and the mileage is really a trade off. In my opinion, I, I don't like you know the, so much longer mileage for the BEV because you have to add more and more battery cell, you add more weight, right? That means this is not very good, right? You just you know the you know, so the, achieve the longer mileage with the higher or more, you know, the battery cell. Uh, uh, technically, we think, you know, the in, increase, you know, the uh, charging proficiency or the charging power rating is, uh, is a good one, right? Just like the gas, gas, you know, the fuel, right? You, 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 you fuel the gas, right? Five minutes, you can, you can fuel the gas, right? Yeah. For one car. But our target is to achieve maybe close to five minutes. Maybe if we need to close to five minutes, you know, let me let me think. Let me calculate roughly. It means about <laughs> we need ten C. Yep. Yeah. Ten C. And the power rating will be one mega. Yep. One mega. Technically, we can do it. We can do it because you know the battery cell. You do the trade off between the fast charging capability and the energy density. Absolutely. Right. You just trade off. Right. And then you can achieve the ten C, but your energy density will be reduced a little bit or somehow. Right. And then maybe your mileage will be reduced, but the charging capability will yeah. be increased. And also, you need to we need to get a lot of you know the oh, enough you know the super 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 charging station, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah. the ten C charging stations, yeah. right? And also, your grid should be sustainable for this high power charging. Yes. It's a very challenge for the grid, right? How to balance? We think uh, maybe five C, six C to achieve ten minutes for charging. Like maybe it's good enough, maybe it's right? Good it's enough. good for the European it's market. It's kind of a balance, right? But yeah. we're starting to see now HYC 1000, we're starting to see, you know, megawatt charging being right, installed, right, right. so then maybe... In China, I think, the, to be honest, you know, the, the China, the, the grid is uh, it's, uh, relative stable. Yeah. And the power rating is more higher, right? We can support, you know, the 
yeah. one mega or one point five mega power rating charging for the our our car. Uh, you know, but for the other you know overseas countries, maybe it's very challenged, right? How to balance? Maybe you know, just like now, four C, five C, or maybe maximum six C. This good enough, right? Yeah. And also to balance the greater capability and our charging cost, right? So. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate your, okay. your answer. Thanks okay. very much. No problem. I am a G6 yes. owner, um, and we see all the time people asking for new features, new developments, new others, in, uh, improvements, etc. But are we also developing ways to increase range or increase efficiency of the car? So, are the teams still working on the efficient on the current cars? Our team is. Uh, uh, major effort is to engage on efficiency from 90% uh, or first generation 88% to the new next generation is 92% and the next next generation is 93% and in the future will 94% this is our target maybe every 1% will take a lot of effort it's, it's really really hard including the uh, electronics motor Reducer, software, system integration, thermal management, system, whole stuff will be work together. It's, it's very hard, it's not easy. But for the mileage, uh, you can add more battery pack, yeah. right? And also more money. Yeah. So, but for, in my opinion, uh, next several years, we are continue engage on the proficiency and efficiency of the whole powertrain system. We use the less battery cell to deliver the longer mileage. This is our target. But if you need 1,000 kilometers mileage, yeah, you can. no doubt we can deliver, right? You pay more, but this is not a good one. It's not a good one. Also, we have the range standard, right? Range standard comprehensive mileage can achieve over 1,400 kilometers based on the CLTC profile. It's also good enough. You have the engine installed, right? You don't have to worry about you know, the charging you know, the, uh, power, you know, the, uh, the gap. Mm -hmm worry of concern right it's, it's also okay it's yep. another option for the powertrain to maybe for example i visit you know some countries in the south southeast asia countries uh, they are in the grid and the capability is not so good right some some areas they are still short of you know the electricity power right but if you can deliver some kind of hybrid phev or rain standard right you can also give the customer the market very good you know the a drive, you know, the feeding without uh, worry about, you know, the, 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 the energy power of the electricity. This is another option. I mean, yes. Maybe a related question to Hugo. Um, yeah. Do you expect vehicles from 2023 and 2024 really um, get any software updates which could improve efficiency? Because I think some automakers were able to tweak something for software yeah. to get this extra 2%, 3% of range or something. Do you, yes. Do you see this happen? It, it, it will happen. Absolutely, but maybe not 2%. 2% <laughs> is, is huge yeah. I mean, for me. In range, in range. I mean, in range. Oh, what uh, range, 2% range. means the uh, system level 1%. One, 1% 1 is uh, higher. Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe 1% totally, okay. Uh, from software level, I think, the, yeah, we can do in some, you know, the country we, we leverage, you know, the, our uh, uh, GPU, you know, the uh, 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 mathematic, you know, the capability, right, to to leverage this in the tops, right? The, the, and then um, up, update our software and the tuning and the calibration of data to, uh, to uh, optimize our system proficiency. Also, improve the thermal management system. Improved thermal management system is also important, mm -hmm. right? You could, you know, the, the system better and you, your power loss will be reduced. It's not another way to increase the, improve the mileage. I cannot give you the number. I yeah. try to achieve the 1%. Okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very good. Thank you, Jackie. Okay, yeah. no problem. Appreciate the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, last one. I okay. always <laughs> ask is which oh. car do you drive? G9. I'm the... Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> me too. Yeah, yeah. G9 is so cool. Buddy, okay. okay, I'm yeah. a G6. Okay. I know, I know. Yeah, right. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Okay. So guys, this is it. This was the interview that we had with uh, Jackie. Again, very friendly, very open, without any problems, uh, no uh, scripts. So he was open to receive us, get the questions and answer to them. Um, I hope you understood um, the questions and the answers, of course. Um, 
And I do believe that for people that are really into knowing a little bit more about EVs, not just driving, this was a very interesting uh, one. So I did learn a lot about what are the possibilities and the effort that um, exists to uh, create an efficient car uh, uh, that we uh, drive every single day. So I do believe that this was interesting and if you did so also, please leave your like. Um, let, uh, let me know in the comments if you knew already what powertrain was and uh, if this uh, is interesting also for you guys. And of course, share and subscribe the channel if you are not subscribed. And of course, if you like my content, uh, please do um, consider on supporting it uh, also. Thank you very much again and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye guys.